shlok I will explain tomorrow. But Guru of all the Mayabadi Sanyasi, he was qualified to change their name and all these things. And at that time, oh, he was unique, very powerful. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to, to Puri and he became faint and wanted to embrace O Brajandanandan, Shyam Sundar, he never saw <coughs> Jagannath Baldev Subhadra. He saw Prajandarandan Shyam Sundar with a Murali and peacock feather in And but at once he ran away to embrace. But in the midway he became faint. And after that, the doorkeepers there and watchmen, oh, they were with any broom, they had, and they used to beat him. But at once our Bhambhatta just came, what are you doing? And he became astonished that, oh, who is he? I have read in books hmm? all these symptoms of Shaktik Bikar, but I have never seen with my own eyes. Now I am seeing, who is he? He must be a high class of devotee. Hmm? And then, anyhow he managed and he took him to his house. And there, oh, when he came in sense, then he wanted to uh, Tell him that, oh, you should study Vedanta, that is better. He told that, like, you are my father and guru, I am taking your shelter. What is better for me, you should. So, he told that, better you should hear of Vedanta Sutra, because your age is very oh, young. You cannot control your lust. So you should hear all these things. And he was accepted and seven days or so many days. He went on uh, explaining Vedanta Sutra. And after that, he was wonder in wonder. What a class of a student, very strange. Whether he had understanding anything or not. Very grave. He asked whether you are understanding something or not. Oh, then very humble and folding hand he told. Oh, oh Vedanta Sutra asked, like Shan. I am realizing all the Vedanta Sutra, what they are, with the meaning and everything. It is oh, very evident, like Shan. But if, when you explain, it becomes that like cloud, you are hiding something, sun rays. Oh, I never thought that in this whole world anyone be like this to speak like him, to, to, to speak to him. And then he was very anxious. Oh. Where I am doing wrong? How I am um, covering sun with clouds by my meanings? Oh, from top to bottom, you are doing wrong. Here it has been told that who is, who is God, who is Supreme Lord, by which oh, creation is coming, who is supporting nursing. And after creation, everything goes in me. He is Brahma. And you are telling that Brahma has no shape, no form, no qualities, no attribute, no power, nothing. He is like a zero, you are telling. From where you are telling? Have you any evidence? Oh, yes, so many. In Vedanta Sutta it has been told. What has been told? What that? So, Arupavat evahi tattva. Oh, he is Arupavat. He is Arup. 
Mahaprabhu Raya, oh, here is your root of all wrong things. Arup Vata, you are thinking that he has no shape, but it is told Arup Vata, but he is Arup. Swang Rup, no, like Rup. His big grah is himself. No difference between him and his, his form. Never, never. You think so, but never. He can see everything. He has likes and likes hands to do. Natasya karjam karanan chavidyate, natas samasya dikasya dishyate. Parasha Shakti, Parasha Shakti, he has Parasha Shakti, and you are telling that no attribute, no power, nothing. And he cut all the arguments top to bottom, and he became wonder. He could not speak any word. His tongue was stopped. After that, when I have never seen a person like him, Oh, more learned. And he, is, he, he was in wonder. At once he saw, oh, that sannyasi, bal sannyasi. Hmm? But he turned into, oh, six hours. Commandalu, tanda, arrow, and what I am seeing. And he took water and gave. What I am seeing, <laughs> whether I am in dream or what I am dreaming. See. Then he saw that all. Oh. And after some time, oh, it was vanished away. Then he fell flat on the lot of feet of this Bhagavad Sannyasi. I did wrong. I could not recognize you. Hmm? And then he became a pure devotee. Now Mahaprabhu told, oh, you should go to your house and you should take sleep and rest and to, tomorrow we will meet. And for, they came tomorrow. He went straight in the Lord's feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu came very early, about four, after seeing the first Mangala Ardi and he came with some prasadam. The Pujari gave him. And he took that prasadam and he took something, little bit, and he kept it and he came direct to Sarva. Sarva Muhammad never believe in God like this and he never believed in Mahaprasadam, never. He was like a full Mayavadi, he was guru of Mayavadi. So never believe, he never chanting, no belief in chanting. These names. Huh? Always what doing? Am Brahmashmi, Am Brahmashmi, Tattvam Ashi, Karagam Sarvam Kalidam Brahma, 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 Brahma. <laughs> but now, his all things were crushed by the Chaitanya Mahab. And he became. Oh, he called very sharp home, sharp home. Oh, he at once, he was sleeping at once came. And Mahaprabhu first gave him a Then what he did? A smart Brahmin sign Mahapati, they don't have any tea thing, they, when they will wash, they will take bath and chant Gayatri or anything do. After that they can take. But today Mahaprabhu came suddenly and he took that Mahaprasad and Mahaprasad. If he told this slow of Puran, if Mahaprasad is rotten, even coming from the mouth of dogs, it is already taken from any other country. At once you should take it like Krishna himself, that you are serving Krishna. At once you should serve. Mahaprasade Govinde Nam Brahmani Vaishnavi Swalpa Punyavatam Rajan Vishwas. This Mahaprasad, this name, the devotees are all are Purna Brahma, Krishna. 
not anything other than Krishna. But Swatapun Vatan Rajan Biswasana Vajat. Those who have known so much Sukriti. Oh, they cannot understand. They will neglect all these things. Three things. Deities, Mahaprasad, name and devotee. Be careful. And then what he did? At once in a moment, he was so learned that Osasati was on his tongue. And he began to speak in his slok. Ujjala varana gaura varadeham bilasita niravadi bhavadeham Like this. In twelve or how much slokes he did it. And from then all devotees used to pray Mahaprabhu in this slok. Very deep meanings are there. So I became happy to hear this song. Now <coughs> we should come to our class. Agyanati Mirandhasya. What? Oh, no, after that. Agyanati Mirandhasya. Gyananjana Salakaya. Chakchurun Militang Jina. Tasmai Si Guravina. Mancha kalpataru vyasya kripa sintu evacha patitana pavayo vaishnavayo namo mahavadanyaya krishna prema pradayate krishna krishna chaitanya gaurati gaura chandraya Radhika yai tadalaye Krishna ya Krishna bhaktaya tad bhaktaya yam prabrajantam anupetam apetakrityam dvaipanyano viraka tariyaju putre titan maitaya tarvo vinedu tam sarvabhutaridayam munyanatasya Tavai Vashmi, Tavai Vashmi, Najivami Tvaya Bina, Iti Vigyai Radhe, Tannay Maam Charana. What? Om Gyanati Murandasya Gyanati. Two slopes of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and this is third slope. What is the process of? What is the process, sadhan of bhakti, pure bhakti? Tanyadapi suni chena, tarorapi sahisuna. Amanina manadena kirtanya sadhari. <coughs> this is only process. What meaning? Translation. One meaning. worthless than insignificant grass which is being trampled beneath everyone's feet, being more tolerant than a tree, being prideless and offering respect to all others according to their respective positions, one should continuously chant the holy name of Sri Hari. If you want to chant, try to follow this process. If you are not following these four qualities, a pure name cannot be done. And that will be not, not pure Nam Sankirtan. Very hard to do this. But yet you will have to practice like so. Otherwise, Braj Prem is very far away, very far away. 
So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is telling himself, or oh, weeping, that if anyone has three, four kinds of these qualities, they are qualified to chant pure. Otherwise, no. Here, Śrīla Bhakti Vinod Thapur is giving something very clearly. If anyone has taken initiation, in the real sense, the śā, the jñāna, transcendental, a strong relation has come to Krishna with a relation. And no offense, no now any kinds of unwanted things, anartha. There are so many kinds of anartha. Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has explained all. Even there is no namaparad, but even there are so many anartha. So we should try to remove all these things. And then, <coughs> oh, those who do Namsa and Kirtan, they are, has been divided into four. And they should have some symptom. And what symptom? Oh, if anyone chanting, name like so, with a relation, he bring up all the offenses, if anyone is doing. Then, this, att- this att- att- attachment to, <coughs> to these words, gratifications and all these things, it must go. Renounce will come. If you are chanting for whole life, but even all they are, then you have not fallen, Oh, real process. If anyone is chanting, he may be lusty, he may be like Ajamin, like uh, Balmiki or others, but if he is sincere and obeying his master, holy mm-hmm. master, then all these four symptoms may come. What? Surely, Lust and all sense gratification will must go. If you are chanting her name but is still not going, then it is like if sun rays are there and but is still oh so much uh, antaka darkness. Sun is there but darkness. What is the meaning? Absurd. It cannot be. But here going means you are not chanting, remembering the names. So first will come symptom. Oh. Tirakti janit shabhavik dhanyata. What is written? This means a natural humility which is born from the quality of being completely detached from sense gratification. Then you will realize, I'm like a sanitational. Mm-hmm. Huh? And I'm very humble. He will be in binamra, means very polite. Very polite to all. If we have some, we are very learned, very wealthy. So much qualities are there. But we are telling, oh, I am nothing, I am nothing. Oh, what is this? This is like a cheating. You are cheating yourself. <coughs> so don't do this. What you are inside, you should be outside. Hmm? Or don't show your humbleness, artificiality. By chanting them, oh, it will come automatically. And then you will be very polite. 
How polite. Radhika even, Radhika is himself, herself Krishna, not different. But even, she is very humble. And th she thinks that more wretched than dears. <coughs> there is so much chance to me to serve Krishna, but I have no chance. I have never served. I have never seen him. But if you are not chanting, your heart is not so pure, oh, only to cheat others and to cheat yourself. Oh, this I am very low and insignificant. You can tell it. But really it will come when you are chanting like this. First. And second, Masata Rahit Nirmal Daya. What is that? This means Nirmal Daya. Very pure, immaculate compassion, which is Nematsarata, devoid of envy. What he told? What he told? Genuine compassion will come that's devoid of envy. You'll feel real affection for all living entities yes. with no envy. Nirmatsarahit? What? <coughs> this means the uh, compassion for others which is completely devoid of envy. Yes. This must come. This must come. That daya, that Compassion. Compassion is there. That will be pure. Oh, if you are very kind to a cow, very kind, but by chance 